One thing I would like to highlight is the flexibility of the interface. Um, it's very flexible. Um, you can change the size of any widget. Uh, you can close them. You can reorganize them really fast. You can add more tabs on the top if you want test. Um, and because available here, you can um, create like a chart from, from this data directly. And then for instance, like this, um, you can go back here. If you don't want to see this view, if you want to do the raw data, you can visualize that data, you can change it to light mode. And so it's, it's super customizable to whatever needs you have. You can also organize the dashboards in folders. So if you want to organize it and you have a folder that you call it, you know, 2024 Q3 or something like that, you can move that dashboard inside it. Um, and now it, be it becomes, and now it becomes available available here and then you also have flexibility in terms of the widget type so basically you can see that here this is a, a trading view widget but you also have this one for ticker information these ones are news which means that you can actually click on it and read the news article but there are also other types of widgets that are worth mentioning so if i open a new dashboard um, we can add for instance we have rss feeds um, that basically allows you to manage your own like RSS feeds, which means that you can now click on a news article and it will open it. Um, but you have also the iframe, which I showed earlier, that is a website and you can do something like add uh, OpenVB web website here. You have things like the notes uh, widget and also like charting from uh, uh, trading view which allows you to add for instance uh, let's say we want uh, EMA you can do let's do double EMA you can do that you can also do tri triple which you can see here but you can also do financials for instance if you, you want to add revenue over time that is also possible you also have here their earnings um, you can add notes here there's a lot of flexibility and we tend to build the widgets that are best to support the type of data that comes in so let's give an example for instance let's say that we are real, real time for forex it it map for instance uh, it shows like this right now is the weekend so the market is closed but basically this is a, a live um, widget so the data pops uh, over time we also have something like uh, it's called tape uh, this one ticker tape performance and so you have something that drags over time and so there's a lot of flexibility around the widgets and the way we design them is based on the data from the vendor that we support we make the best widget to display that data but what's on our roadmap over time is to basically open the gates and allow uh, uh, firms to build the best widget visual for the data that they want to feed into the product. And that's our next step. Earlier, I said that one of the capabilities of the product is the collaboration that it uh, enables users. And so let me start a, a template, which I want to share with you. Let's create the comparison template. What this, this does is basically enables you to have a watch list of companies you want to track and compare against each other versus one of reference. And then basically you compare like widgets side by side. And so if I click on Nvidia, you'll see only this side, side is changing. And so let's say that I want to add more data. I want to add, uh, uh, let's start by adding uh, new data. Uh, I downloaded the PDF earlier today. I'm going to use that one and it's uploading the name and metadata it's perfect i'm going to say uploaded has been uploaded let's say that i want to add a note widget this here and i'm going to call it i don't know apple versus nvidia in this case um, section one and then you can have bullet point bullet point two bullet point Point three. It doesn't matter. You can write anything. Let's say that I'm also interested for some reason to add like a US yield, which in this case comes actually from my custom backend. So this is something that uh, uh, a user of Pro won't have access by default, but it comes from my backend, which we can actually see from going into the data connectors is here on the OpenVB platform that has been integrated. So now I have, I have access to all of these data and let's say that I want to share these with someone from my team because I want to hear their talks or we want to maybe discuss on that. And that's very simple. The, the way we do this is, ah, first, let me show you. This is the, the account I'm gonna share with, with is completely empty as you can see. And so when I come here, I'm gonna click on share. 
is going to say that some are confidential. And in this case, you can put the email from the person on your team as long as they are within the same organization, so your firm's organization. But otherwise, if, if they are already here, uh, they, they are already like highlighted, you can just click here and you can select view. In this case, in the future, we'll allow edit as well. And you can click save. And now I go into this uh, 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 dashboard and you see that it pops up. Now, when I click here, you see not just the data that is given by OpenVB is vis visible, but you can also see the PDF, you can also see the notes, and you can also see the custom backend. And so this truly enables collaboration between teams. And as I mentioned, in the future, there's going to be more a granularity around the control from a user perspective on what they can turn on and off for, for each uh, user. But right now, uh, it's just view only. But if you want to uh, manage it, have access to it, you can simply duplicate it, and then you you'll have access to it. Let's say that your manager wants to have access to uh, a dashboard, uh, but he doesn't really want to interact with him. He just wants to see the data, some visuals, and he wants to have some notes on how you are thinking about it, whether it's to make an investment decision, whether it's uh, to inform him of, of how the stock market is performing today. It doesn't matter. That is uh, really simple uh, using our product. So all you got to do is uh, we can use this equity dashboard and you can see this is quite a, a bit different types of data. I can click here, I can say generic report, export it as a PDF. There we go. And now that should be available to me. And I can see it here. And you can see that it has a, a nice rendering, which is perfect. So I can send it to my manager. And of course, if you care about uh, a light team, you can uh, change the team to white and then basically uh, export as a report like this. And then you can print it, for instance. For most of the widgets that you'll see uh, from OpenVB, we have access to the data and we have not just the, the display license, but also the redistribution license. So that means that you can download or export the data as you wish. So if we go into the financial stop, for instance, one thing you can do, you can click here and you can click export and you can select what is the data format. So if you want to export something into Excel, you can do that. Now, the problem is that you are getting something static in time. And so for us, it was important to make sure that users knew that they could uh, have access to the data and, and create models using Excel. And so we allow them to click here and go into functions. And basically you have the exact commands that you need in order to have access to this data on both Excel or Python. And so let's say we want to explore the Excel. Let's say that we want to explore income. I already logged in onto my Excel add-in. I can uh, do it here. And in this case, because I actually, I actually know this command, I know that I need to, uh, to transpose it, transpose. And now you can see that the data here uh, um, is dynamic. So let's say that I put here a different ticker. You'll see that if I come here and then I put, uh, I select this cell here, you'll see that the data is going to be refreshed with a different company. And so, and if I change, you'll see that it, it happens. And so basically you can basically create your models using all of the, the, the widgets data from OpenVB. Now, I mean, my, the entire narrative has been around the copilot. So what happens with the tables that are generated from the copilot? So let's say I ask, uh, create a, a five by five random table with numbers and column headers. And I mean, I showed earlier that we can create a widget table from this data, and then we can create like a lines on a short, but we also have this capability here, which enables me to copy to clipboard, which basically means that I can come into Excel and paste it and I have access to that data directly. And so it allows you to work really fast along with Excel if that's your preferred method, or if someone on your team is using OpenVB, they are creating these dashboards for you and you are uh, the Excel pro, so you want to have access to the same data and then you pull all of that onto Excel. And we're working as well to make it so that custom backends and connections of the data are easily pullable from Excel directly.